I'm Harry Albright, International Membership Secretary of FWCC. FWCC stands for Friends World Committee for Consultation. It's not the snappiest of titles, but to help understand the name, it's helpful to understand our roots as an organization. FWCC was established at the Second World Conference of Friends, held at Swarthmore, Pennsylvania in 1937. The vision was for an organization to keep friends connected and in touch with each other across the diverse spectrum of the society worldwide. Keeping that vision alive today, FWCC works collaboratively with friends around the world through five offices the Africa section, the Asia West Pacific section, the Europe and Middle East section, the section of the Americas, and of course, the World Office. Our mission statement is, answering God's call to universal love, FWCC brings friends of varying traditions and cultural experiences together in worship, communications, and consultation to express our common heritage and our Quaker message to the world. The word consultation is important. FWCC is not, and never has been, an authoritative body which can impose things from above. Rather, FWCC helps friends find common ground across our diversity so that we can work together on issues that are important to us, such as peace, human rights, and climate change. The work of the Quaker United Nations Office is made possible through FWCC's accreditation at the UN. One of the ways we fulfill our mission is by bringing friends together, both in person and virtually, at section, regional and global gatherings. Most of our global meetings are held virtually, but we do hold in-person plenary meetings every seven to eight years. The last one was in Peru in 2016, and the next one is planned for South Africa in 2024. Nearly all yearly meetings in the world are affiliated to FWCC and their members are the members of FWCC. So, if you attend a local meeting or church, you can have a voice in FWCC through your yearly meeting's representatives. You can even become involved yourself, for example, by serving on a section or world office committee. The same is true if you're an international member. The International Membership Program serves isolated individuals and worshipping groups and gives them a voice in FWCC. You can find out more and connect with friends around the world by keeping in touch with our social media channels and signing up to our monthly e-news. There is an online directory of meetings to help you make contact with friends in other parts of the world. If you want to find out more about our work and connect with Quakers worldwide, visit our website at fwcc.world.